Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in today's demo, we are going to see how we can secure our credential using Key Vault and Managed Identity. So let's talk about what are the portable credentials in Azure. Portable credentials in Azure are like a special keys, connection string or some secret provided to connect that service so that we can use that service in our programs. Portable credential is one of the way to interact that service to connect that service. They are very handy but we need to keep them safe so that and if other people get that key or secret then they can access that service. You might have a database where you are storing some consumer related things maybe also payment related thing. If somebody gets that key or connection string and try to access they can access all the things right. Then we need to think about how we can secure this one. How we can keep them safe. Is there any other way to access that service without key that will be a perfect solution right. So let's go in Azure portal and try to see some of the examples. Right now we are into Azure portal and we are going to see how this key looks like right. I have this Cosmos DB where we can go to key section and we can see there are different type of key read write key read only key there are primary key secondary key and connection string based on that one. So there are mostly two keys provided always so that if you want to rotate that one as a good practice you use secondary rotate primary change that one and then rotate secondary that's how we can generally do and if you have only need for read only then just use that one read right if you need use that one if you go to another services such as you see that storage storage has also a key section where we can get the key and you can also rotate uh, set the rotation reminder for that one so that we don't forget to rotate similar thing we have for the app configuration where access key is provided and these are the key are the portable credential which sometimes poses a security risk these are very handy but this has additional risk also. The risk is that if somebody gets them right they can access our data or services. So we need to secure this place. So if you see that that example if somebody gets one key also they can go and look for one key they can connect with that key try to find different key get that another key if uh, they can able to get that one then they can exclude the privileges they can connect and they can get all the data right. That's how this portable credentials is risky, right? So we need to find a way how to secure them. And if we have any chance not to use this key by directly going with some other things where we do not have to put any key into our code and other thing, that will be a good solution, right? So first we are going to see that how Azure keywords come into the play and then we will see that managed identity also. So Azure Key Vault is a service provided by Azure so that we can keep this secreted safe. We can write some codes where we can connect to that Key Vault, get the credential and use that one so that we do not have to store that one into our code. But the same thing right rotation you have to do rotation. We have to make sure that how you are accessing Key Vault also properly who have access to the Key Vault and other things right. So generally typical way was there that we used to connect using the help of service principal. We used to create service principal and then using certificate is the one of the way our service principal provides a key. But if you get the service principal key and put into code itself or config itself then the same problem that you have to maintain that key right which will be used to connect to that or either that certificate you, you have to secure that one which will be used to connect to key vault then that is the chicken egg problem right for securing all the secret you need to secure one at least and that problem is solved using managed identity right managed identity we do not have to manage any secret managed identity secrets and other things is managed by azure itself that makes our life very easy because now we do not have to store any key inside our code configuration or 
if any services is providing that managed service connectivity then we do not have to use any portable credential and put into key vault also we can directly connect with that service itself right so what are the different benefit of managed managed identity directly as i talked about that one it has many benefit right it simplifies the managing credential because now we do not have to manage any credential if we are directly integrating with that service like in case of azure storage then we do not have to rotate any key because there is no key itself we are using right we can disable that uh, portable credential uh, secret itself and use via ad and managed identity so we do not have to go by a key vault also and that makes our life very easy right so for this demo i have created a rest based api project where i am going to connect the storage and getting the blob name so i have created a storage also and this is the storage which i am going to use and if we go to browser and if we go to containers we can see couple of file i have put for listing purpose and then we have access key which connection string i have took from this point and i have used inside our code and i have added that connection string into our app setting file and this is very old way of doing things to connecting any services where we put the connection string key and other secret into to settings file and this poses a risk because if we commit this one into our repo and other things this key will be shared by a lot of people and people who have access to the repo and other things they will be able to see and they can get and they can do whatever they want to do so th this is not the good practice we should not use this way and that's why i'm starting with very basic and then i will slowly move to key vault and then how to connect to key vault and then i will move directly to use mi to connect these blobs right so that is the plan so let's go ahead and run this one right now if i go and try to run that and this is that api which i will run that now so if i go now i'm getting the connection string from my configuration and if i go and run this one it will turn whatever blob name is there so let's go and see that one this is the blob name two blobs are there so this is one way of doing and this is very old way of doing things but this is not the secure way right so we have to make it secure so now in next i will move this connection string into key vault and see how we can connect to key vault and how we can get that one and then i will update that key vault code also to connect with the managed identity now I have created this key vault and added one secret and where I have put the connection string and now I am going to create a service principle uh, which was the second version which, uh, which I wanted to show that how to connect with service principle and then let's go and create a service principle into Azure Active Directory which is now called inter ID. So I will go for um, app registration and I will create a new registration where I will say in my demo and then I will register that. And this in my demo, I will give the access to my key vault. And let me add this key vault as a secret user. So if I will add this one. This SPN will have access to my key vault to add X, right? Uh, now I will use this key vault and this SPN to connect with from my code. So for using this application ID, we need to create a certificate or upload a certificate here or we have to use client secret and this certificate or client secret should be there on client machine from where that code is running. So I'm going to create for now a client secret. So let me take this one and let me put inside this one so that I can use and I need a client ID also to connect right so let me put let me add into our code now if we go into our app settings I have added app settings like client ID client secret and tenant ID and tenant ID if you go and figure out with our tenant ID where uh, tenant ID is there so we can go to properties and we can see object ID and other things and we can go for more details from intra ID where tenant ID we can get and here if you go to app registration on one more time so if we go for all application MI demo we created and we have created secret name where ZMH is starting so if we go and see ZMH starting so all the detail I have put 
I have created using all this using client secret credentials and connected with key vault to get that connection string right and connect, after that one I am connecting. So this is one way of doing things. Let's start and see that if that works or not. So now it is going to connect first with our secret and this is our key vault and if you see this one so this is going to connect it is connecting right now it is going to get the secret and if you see it is able to get the connection string from that key vault and we are able to run this program right so this is one way of doing things where we are putting connection string into key vault the problem is that one secret we have to maintain inside this secret right inside our app config that is also not uh, good right so we have to remove this one and if you see that one right now we can use this service principle to connection up direct if i go ahead and instead of adding into this this is our storage right if i add this to storage that our spn i can access by spn also so if i go and see that storage and i if we go and keep this guy as a reader and if i add my mi demo spn over there i can add i uh, use that spn directly to go i do not need any connection string right let me go ahead and show that to you so i can go ahead and create so this is url uh, this is our story this is i'm this is i'm creating a blob service client using same thing right and then i'm going to use this one client dot with blob client and i can pass that container name which is here and using this spn i can directly connect without going to key vault also so let's see that if that works or not so it takes some time to propagate so let's wait for some time it just add it so let's see that it is giving the authorization permission mismatch so let's wait and i can go and see one more time i have given blob data reader to this resources let me go to container and let me see if container has that same thing or not it is here also i hope this should work now so let me start one more time this time it is working takes some time for propagation so if we see this one uh, this is coming right so this is one way of also connecting but the still the problem is same that we have a key to maintain here and rotate that one so let me go and now go with this client secret only but i will use managed identity now so when we are going to use managed identity while developing the application make sure that we are logged in with proper credentials using this one so right now i have two logged in here and default directory this one is going to be used right now and we can see that configuration from going inside tools and options tab also where we can choose a account for azure service authentication and for using managed identity we need to go inside Evolt and any other resources and we have to give the proper access. Right now, because we are using my account in Visual Studio, I need to give that account. So I will give that account as a Key Vault secret user and I will go ahead and select my user which is going to be used from there. So now this user will have access over there and same way if we will deploy this application to any azure services like app services or function app then we have to enable identity and give the access to that identity so this is what it looks like so let me see that one if using default azure credential i am able to connect or not right So let's see that I am able to get using default credentials. So in this case, right, we would not have to manage anything, any application secret inside our code and it will be secure, right? So let's go and see. Now result is coming. But if this service itself, that 
storage service itself is providing the connectivity using managed identity and other things so why should we used key vault and secret also right so that is the main purpose also right if any service is not supporting then we can go ahead and use this way but if any service is supporting let me go ahead and let me see that i have role or not so yeah i do have role as a storage blob reader and we can go and add if we do not have we can go and select and for all the resources there are different type of role if we have seen that in key vault has secret user secret officer key vault uh, key reader and other things for storage there are storage blob reader storage that data reader, log analytics, different teasers. So there are different roles for different resources. So this has that. So let's see into our Visual Studio that how it works. All this code, right? Let me remove first this client ID and secret because anyway we move to default client and other things. So it's, it is not required at all. I will remove everything. We do not need anything into code. I will go ahead and remove all this because now I do not need to connect with Key Vault also, right? I, I can go ahead and try to connect using all this by default using client secret. If I go and say that default Azure credential with blob service client itself, right? So if this code should work, let's give a minute and then I will try it. Yeah, it is generating and it is giving the names for that. So now if you are using default Azure credential, then whatever logged in you have done inside Visual Studio, it will be used. Or if you are deploying this kind of application with anything, like if you are going to deploy this one inside, suppose you have a function app and if you deploy it inside function app, then you have to go and enable the identity and add this guy into your resources or if you have any app services suppose let's go and try to find some app services inside so if most of the resources supports that so if we go and see that any api world also that identity it is enabled and you can have system assign also, user assign also, but system assign is good enough so that it will make secure from this system only it will go. And this is how we can connect. Once you deploy this one, default Azure credential will go with this, this identity and it will connect to resources. And once we are done, if we are not using any access key, it is better to go ahead and disable that one. And for that purpose, you can go to configuration for that kind of resources, maybe different places, and you can go ahead and disable that. So it will be that whatever key is there, it will be not used and no longer it will work. And that's how we make resources more secure. And without key, we can connect using AD and token, which has a limited way and also manage that identity so for conclusion of this demo that if we have any secret which we need to use and that service is not providing any connectivity using managed identity then we can use azure key vault and put into that one and connect that azure key vault with managed identity so that we do not have to use that one azure key vault provides managed identity connections and if that service is providing the direct connectivity using managed identity in that case you do not have to put that key into your key vault and you have to rotate and set the rotation policy and maintain that one so this is what i wanted to cover in this video i hope you like this video thank you